Rose here. Hi everybody, Amy Rose, and we are back in the Stanley Parable 2! Instead of the Ultra, Delu Ultra Deluxe, because the narrator, of course. And I have Bob here, as always. Hi. And it seems like Bob uh, dragged a whole bunch of shadow androids here. Yeah, they look kind of lonely, so I dragged them here. So, of course, we got Bluebeard. Bluebeard Hi. is back, so welcome back. Hello. And then, uh, who is the blue one with one arm? Oh, that's Jeff. I'm here against my will. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm here against my will. Okay, and then, oh, you're new. Hi. It's nice to meet you, and this is... Oh, uh, that, that's just Vapor. He's from, like, some weird dimension, like, free something. They either call me Shadow or call me by my name. Oh. Vapor being my name. Oh, well, welcome, and... Wait, did you say yeah. another dimension? Yeah, I have a habit of traveling. <sighs> of course. Well, I hope you enjoy it here, so are you guys ready? I I suppose. You know, I never understood it. The end is never. This is the story. Is this to imply there isn't an end? Uh I believe so. <laughs> Stanley worked for I believe that be true. Building, where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. And he that is us. Desk in room 427, <laughs> and he put What's our job? So plain. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. How I to look push like a land lover. In what order. <laughs> this is what employee 427 <laughs> did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have so, considered yeah, it so, uh, Jeff... Uh, we just press keys on our keyboard of what it says on our computer. That's our nope. job. I'd be great for that job. I only got one arm. <laughs> they should hire me. Day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What oh yeah, and um, Bluebeard, you guys remember meeting. this. Perhaps he had simply missed a I... Well, so it looks up it, the co-workers are gone no because they're I celebrating and Stepney's birthday, apparently. Oh. Maybe the boss is why is there a random Stanley bucket? up the bucket. Why? Why not? I've easily to mop the poop deck, that's why. Why is there a bucket there, though? Why not? Where's the... Here's the real answer. Where's the mop? <coughs> Probably well, in the closet. Most likely in the janitor's There's a closet? closet. The bucket tightly yeah. His chest and entered the door on his left. You must go to that closet. <sighs> is the bucket part of the story? I uh, yes, it is. I don't think I've seen this before. This is all new to me. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's <laughs> office was where he'd find answers. What's the bucket's name? Uh, I work in a bad one. You don't know? It's his name is, uh... His name is Bucketson. We could call it Barry. Barry the Bucket. Yeah, that's so ironic. <gasps> okay, I like to bury inside. things. Go inside. Oh, Go inside. Awesome. Where's the mop? Wait, there's already a mop bucket. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of what? jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. 
I can really feel it's it. just a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> it belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with Wait. the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. <clears throat> Don't give him. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. It's just a bucket, though. I believe that the bucket might be more than what you see. I think the broom closet might be a little bit damaged. I'm gonna, I'm gonna negotiate with the closet. We need uh, the, bucket. the bucket to him. We crave the bucket. No, 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 drop the bucket. Give the bucket to the broom closet. Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially you know, enticing manner. Well, I I've, Go I'm starting to feel things. like the broom closet isn't the one talking. Uh, that, that, that broom closet is my home, and you that was a bucket in that specific. closet. I'm just saying. Share your journal entries detailing the rich just leave that. Just give the bucket. On the, just put it on the ground. You see, I will. I will be its friend. Much like how you took in that rock. Oh yeah, no, Jeremy. He's he's my he's my best friend. All right, Jeremy. I got you something which I think you have a friend. That is a rock. Here we go. He's not that just a rock. He has googly eyes. Now it's settled. I told you no it glue on his face. No more discussion. Okay, that'd be Take so sad, matey. Take a closet with all your meandering philosophical <laughs> diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets. Just to give you guys a hint, Jeff things. might have a little bit of damage. Uh, a little bit of damage? I, I don't know if it's really damage. I've got a second sticker back here. But, but it I'm seems like something's wrong with his servers. It's appropriate. <laughs> I'll give you guys a thumbs up, See? but uh, feel I'm missing an arm. Because the sticker is you have another arm. Bucket. That way, I don't use that arm. You're telling me you only have one good arm and you don't use that arm. There really is a wide variety of applications yes. for the stickers. I, I think that this one might be like defective or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket. I, I only have the one arm and a claw. Just giving us a and I use both of them. To be honest, I'm sick of the At least you have a claw. Thing. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Bye. He, he does not sound happy. No. no, he does not. Because if we don't listen to him, he starts getting mad. I think he just wants him. you to follow a story. Wait, 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 before you, before you leave, drop what? the bucket. I can't. What? The bucket is yours. It until, appears like... Until the next playthrough. It appears like the bucket is permanently stuck to Stanley's hand. That's his name, right, Stanley? Yep. It's a prank. I knew it. Who glued the bucket to Stanley's Coming hand? The staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Do you guys want to go up or do you guys want to go down? Down. Oh, it's it's you. Stanley's I being lied. disobedient. Um. But Too Stanley late. just couldn't do it. Dang it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, well, something uh, occurred to Stanley. Coffee isn't, that, isn't that the same cup? Maybe, Maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Crazy, am I crazy? crazy ones? He asked the bucket. Oh, no. uh, the bucket returned his gaze, <laughs> but said nothing at all. Because it's a bucket. Thought, usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. Uh... He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when because he it's a bucket. Around. This isn't my bucket. 
It's just a I, I've seen day, this with crewmates before. They get very attached to an inanimate object. This is all terribly wrong. <laughs> Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of I know how that feels. It's the right here, Rage. Bucket is gone. Bucket is gone. <laughs> bucket. That traitor. Sometimes it's a coconut. Or sometimes it's a ball. It's always something. It just shows that they don't well, have a stable I've mind. Gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed <laughs> forward from room to room, passing by There's one the bucket. Oh, right. oh. None of them were Stanley. None of them were his special bucket. Stanley. Oh my God. Find he that is a find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, why are there so many dead. buckets in here? He knew we should give them all names. We could call that one Tom. We could call that one Larry. We could call that Bob. Never. Why would you name one after Larry? <laughs> what did he do? I don't know. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay. That wasn't I hold up. Mariella too too bad. Day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security. Wait, and what? what? Place of she place. has a bucket. From this particular <laughs> interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town. <laughs> what is the point of this? And then collapsed okay. dead on the sidewalk. And right away, it's funny because the in the original was. one, the this first half of the no game, bucket. you don't have of the bucket until you earned it, man. and now and we're getting these endings with the bucket. All of his this man had Every no bucket. So that sounds like another movie. word could be put there. there. There was a lesson in this, that the, be that the bucket was his friend the entire time. Oh, that, what a true friend. Perhaps the bucket were the buckets we made along the way. Hey, oh, that one's going on my bucket list. Oh no, here we go with the puns! <laughs> there were a terrible. Of confusing problems. She would uh, no, it's a bucket, it's not terrible. For which her bucket would provide absolute mm. guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes. What is it, Bob? My life ticks I think I need to reprogram Jeff later. Backflip all the way to huh? What the uh, Maybe upgrade him from a freaking hard drive to an SSD. I like my hard All drive. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's my bucket. Woman just said, my life is awesome. I'm gonna do a backflip. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Though Stanley couldn't realize that he was slowly going mad again. Tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Let's go in the right. But I like right. But he did. Not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley. <laughs> Honestly, anything yes, is better than the meeting room. I, I kid you not. Insightful, the bucket turned but what if he needed to keep his job? Uh, you head to the closet, and you live in the closet forever. That's not the job. <laughs> it's it's now a job. But the game stated the job is pushing buttons. Was a but you, yeah, you could push the Stanley boss's buttons all the time. First, walking through the door on the right, <laughs> then walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Uh, perfectly normal day. So Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home, here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's <laughs> the only place a bucket can even feel at home. <laughs> It's certainly something. Ah, uh, beautiful. Those JPEG images. Absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Little did they know that Stanley was dead and the bucket was only using its body. Oh? Long live the bucket.
Any more? Anything else, narrator? I think that's it. You should ask the narrator if he has a dollar and twenty-five cents. Why? So you could get a soda from that uh from that vending machine over there. What do you want, something, Jeff? Yes, I want oil. I don't think there's oil here. Don't, I don't think you're going to get oil out of a a soda machine. Dang. What kind of vending machine is it? A soda, a soda machine. vending machine. All right. Let's see. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. What do they though? I say we go the other way and not head to that meeting. Let's see how long we can push your boss's buttons. So apparently I he's just saying, I love this job. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Don't go to the no. room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. <laughs> Good, said the bucket. Now ride the all lift right. all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. All right. Stanley did not there's question three... why or how Ooh, this bucket there's something was over speaking. there. It should I have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to you know think what? about this. Bye, guys! But Stanley it's feared death. that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. <laughs> so he threw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. All of his co-workers were gone. So we are going to get mean? the normal ending. Stanley decided to go the to the meeting room. The confusion and the chaos all ah. seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct And way just for the like what room. Jeff wants, he wants had to push the, the bucket bu calling to the him, him boss's buttons. Boss's buttons. I love this job. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Is this how you watch your arm with Eggman? Never mind. Maybe. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. Uh, wait, you mean to tell me you all have a doctor no, too? Said the bucket. Don't yeah. go to the meeting room. Go somewhere I... else. The cargo lift. Yes. Some things never change, Whoa! I guess. Whoa, this is lift. new. Actually, I want to go get this. I lost my voice box a long time ago. Though is I was able to find this one. Is that a figurine? We found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment. You I mean, I beg to differ. Nothing makes me more happier than finding a thing of gold. New, new content. Have you actually ever treasure. No, I mean. I mean, here. sometimes. That wasn't a robot. Uh. Okay, uh. look. God is still God. Looks like a place with a bunch of tapes. Play me a song. Okay. This is day number 295. Ah, uh, this isn't a song. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. Sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Uh. Um. It doesn't make sense. Are they okay? okay, buddy, we get it. You're obsessed with the bucket. Are we sure this ain't one of Jeff's recordings? I I think this land lover needs to walk the plank. No, my my recordings would be all about Jeremy, not about the same. Everything feels so. What do I do? Oh, he's panting too. Oh God! Oh my! Monetize a bucket. 
monetize what it's on think I don't like the where this is going people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket what this what? oh it's no ticket but I got a golden ticket a golden ticket it's a bucket even now I don't know who might be trying to get me what's that I uh, um, here they be after his bucket. Holy moly, I think that's the ticket that might actually be the bucket. Holy, um, are we sure that bucket don't have uh, like any demons within it? Like, holy, well, uh, uh, we can look inside the bucket. That was something. That was something. I'm Amy, Amy Rose. And behind the voice is me, Sunny Sunshine. I hope you have been enjoying my videos as much as I have fun making them. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Oh, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified. Me and Amy wants to say thank you and see you next time.